design patent complaints against you that sink your great ASINs. We're going to be talking about today how you can get those ASINs reactivated. This is Declan Levine. He is a brilliant member of our team. He took the LSAT, which is the law school admission test. He scored like 165 without even studying. And he's doing it again because instead of being in the top 5%, I think, of the country, he wants to be in the top 1%. So Declan is a genius. We're gonna be talking about how he won the reactivation of a listing after our client was accused of violating another seller's design patent. So here's the argument you need to make in your plan of action. This is how we win reactivation when there are design patent issues. You gotta show that your product is different, that there's no violation of the design patent under what's called the Egyptian goddess test. Now, what is that? What's the Egyptian goddess test? Well, I'm gonna tell you what it is. The Egyptian goddess test is just fancy legal language for the duck test. If it looks like a duck, and it quacks like a duck and it waddles like a duck, it's a duck. What does that mean? Look at your design and compare it to the design that somebody else created. Is your product different enough so that it passes the duck test? That you added straps, pockets, magnets, batteries, something to make it different, colors, padding, whatever the product is that you added to it, you changed the design enough that the consumer would not be confused when they look at your great product versus the design that came before it. And if you pass the duck test, if you pass the Egyptian goddess test, then there's likely no design patent violation. And you could win reactivation through a very, very well-written plan of action. You can win reactivation by persuading the complainant to retract their complaint, and you have a lot of leverage to do that. And you can also win the reactivation of that listing by using Amazon's design patent evaluation program. There's a lot of ways to skin the cat. As an Amazon seller, you pivot, you move, you're an entrepreneur, and never lose hope. There are always ways to succeed with selling on Amazon. I'll tell you about a killer Amazon professional named Eric Heller, who's been in our space for over a decade, who works at Wonderman Thompson Commerce. It's a pretty high-end shop, and this is what they focus on, achieving explosive growth on Amazon through strategic planning and operational marketing, okay? This is not for your mom and pop. This is not for people who are just starting out. If you are a significant or advanced Amazon seller, check out Wonderman Thompson Commerce, and if you wanna to talk to them, specifically call and ask for Eric Keller. He is an incredible thought leader in our space.